McMaster University held a nuclear reactor safety drill today, drawing a large number of first responders to the school. There's never been an actual emergency at Max Nuclear Research Reactor, but the planned exercise aims to keep staff and officials prepared just in case. Danielle DeGraw has more. Hamilton Fire and Paramedics were at McMaster University today, participating in a safety drill with the Health Physics Department. They simulated a serious accident with the nuclear reactor and practiced how they would respond. In this case, what we assumed is that there was a leak and the operations team has a lot of things they can do to repair that leak, but we kept throwing things at them. This doesn't work, this doesn't work. So then they had to keep kind of going through these motions. In the event of a serious accident and researchers become grossly contaminated, Professor Zick says they would go through the various stages of the decontamination tent to ensure they are clean once they come out. In the scenario, we had a number of students that we pretended were doing an experiment. They got scared by all the lights and sirens and things that were happening at the reactor. They spilled some contaminate, some radioactive material and they got all contaminated. It's not well known that there's a nuclear reactor here on McMaster campus. And part of the privilege of having that as part of their research facility is they have to get recertified every five years. So if you were on campus and you saw all the emergency vehicles, it was just a safety drill. Captain Phil Fujimoto is Hamilton Fire's hazmat coordinator. He says collaborating with the health physics department has provided much needed training and support. In the event of a real emergency here, the Hamilton Fire Department would deploy to the university and uh, with the help of our staff here at the university, we would uh, make sure that everybody was safe and protected. Captain Fujimoto says his crew has never responded to an emergency with a nuclear reactor. We've never had a real world event yet where we've had to respond to any kind of problem with the reactor. We have had some small instances where radioactive material inside a lab has been spilt. But again, with the training and equipment that uh, McMaster's helped provide us, we've had no problem responding and making sure that uh, procedures are followed and everything's done by the book. As part of the evaluation process, the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission and Emergency Management Ontario were on hand to observe and provide feedback. Professor Six says while they don't receive a report card on today's event, he's confident the drill provided valuable experience. Danielle DeGraw, CHCH News, Hamilton.